Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play a game of Hearthstone Arena. So we are on the very first video. Let's see how we do. What should we play as? Hmm. Well, Hunter, I don't want to play as. We'll do Paladin again. Oh, nice! We get to start off with an epic. Sweet. So Avenging Wrath. Deal 8 damage. Randomly spit, split among enemy characters. Sword of Justice, which is really cool. Or a Lay on Hands, which is a very good card, kind of like as a Hail Mary on turn 8 or 9. But um, I'm leaning towards the Sword of Justice. I like that weapon. That thing is cool. A little bit of card draw would be nice, but Blessing of Might is like a staple, I think. Mm. I don't really have the ability to heal. This could work well with the Sword of Justice, even though it's one attack. It turns this into a 3-3 unit for 2 mana which then actually gets buffed to 4-4. Four, four. On the other hand, the Raging Worgen is just a great unit. Let's go with the the, hmm, the Raging Worgen. I like the Raging Worgen. A little bit of low-level taunt could be good, especially because they'll come out as 1-5 units. Battlecry, give a minion plus 2. A oh, Hand of Protection. I want to play like a Divine Shield type strategy if possible. Another Epic. Oh, cool. Cost one less for each other card in your hand. Has a base cost of 12, so if you have seven cards, it's pretty inexpensive. Cost one less for each minion on the battlefield. That one I like because I can throw out lots of minions. On the other hand, a Faceless Manipulator could work really well, too. I'm going to go with the Sea Giant. I like the Faceless Manipulator, but I feel like the Sea Giant's going to work really well in a Paladin deck. When your opponent plays a minion, reduce its health to one. Guardian of Kings give us gives us some life. Gain attack. We, yeah, let's do the, the Raider. Humility, a nerf to another enemy unit. Takes down a big unit. We can throw out a bunch of pretty strong units right away if you get the, the Murloc with the Sword of Justice. I like that. Double a minion's attack. So far I have one, two... Two spells. That's not really the best card. Two spells. A little bit of card draw here. I'm going to go with the unit card draw. Questing Adventurer. I just love this unit. Especially if we have the Sword of Justice to make it a little bit stronger. Consecration. Yes, we need board clear. Yes, please. Blessing of Kings. Someone really got upset with me for not doing that last time. So of course we'll take Blessing of Kings. We'll take the Dark Iron Dwarf, I think. Well, we'll go with this Boulder Fist Dwarf, which is a nice big meaty unit. Whenever one of your other minions dies, draw a card. This, I think, works, works really well with the, the Paladin deck, because you can just make tons of units, then play him, then suicide them all and get a bunch of card draw. This, on the other hand, works really well because you got tons of minions. This, on the other hand, works really well because it's cheap. Yeah, we'll go Cult Master. We need card draw. Hammer of Wrath. Excellent card draw. I like the battle cry here. Wisp. Mm. Hammer of Wrath. More spells to go with gadgets and auctioneer, I think. When one of your minions dies, return it to life with one health. Humility. Restore four health. Do I want another... I don't think I actually took a humility, did I? We'll take a Humility. At least one. Second Blessing of Kings. Yes, please. True Silver Champion. Another weapon. That could go really well with the Blood Sail Raider. So, yes. I like that. Eye for an eye. When your hero takes damage, do that much to the enemy hero. Bah. Some Taunt. Please. Lots of four mana cards. I could get a second Gadgets in Auctioneer. Or a Knife Joggler. Let's go with the Knife Chugger, because we don't have a lot of low mana stuff, and we can do stuff. Second, Blood Sail Raider, or an Acidic Swamp Ooze. I'm going to go with the Raider. Pirate all the way. I have no Silence yet, so a Silencer would be nice. Spellbreaker. Second Humility could be nice. I'm going to go with the Humility. Second Humility. And some Divine Shield sounds good. I know I need Silence. Yeah, but I want a Cult Master. I want to call it Master. Look at all these four mana stuff. Noble Sacrifice. When an enemy attacks, summon a 2-1 defender as a new target. That's a spell which we can use for card draw. 
We just have the one gadget sand auctioneer. Wind Fury coupled with Divine Sh Guardian Kings, whatever it's called, is amazing. Where is it? Where's my spell? Blessing of Kings. We have two of them. Oh god, I want that unit. We already have two humilities. We have no noble sacrifices. This is a secret. Mm. More units. Second auctioneer, I think. I've got a lot of spells so far. Some early card draw would be very nice. Then again, a double summon with the the epic here would be great too. So we'll go with the double summon. Third blessing of kings. Or a Raging Worgen. I already have one Raging Worgen. I'm going to go with the Blessing of Kings because it's more dependable and it gives me card draw. Second True Silver Champion or a Wind Fury. Second Harpy. Do I want a second weapon? This is four life and eight damage. We'll go with this one because I have so many four mana units. I don't like them. And this looks like card number 30, so do we want a Emperor Cobra, or a Ravenhold Assassin, or a weird unit? Give your opponent a Mana Crystal. Hmm. I'm going to go with the Emperor Cobra. Okay, let's give this deck a shot. We will see. Maybe we go 9-0. You never know. Could happen. I would say that this deck is better than my previous... Paladin deck. I'm thinking we go six wins or more. That's my prediction. It was really funny. One of the comments on one of the videos before, somebody's like, the kid's going for four wins. <laughs> By what standard would you consider me to be a, a kid? I'm not a kid. I'm 28. No one can call me a kid anymore. It's just not allowed. I kind of like the idea of holding on to that, just to see what happens. Here we're the Cult Master, though. We'll play a turn one Shield Bearer, turn two Tide Hunter. Get some units out. Playing against PK Bot, a Major. A little Magey Mage. You shall not pass. Want to get as many little units out as possible. Trying to work it down, are you? I feel like if I did this, it's just going to be bait for Fire Blast. Where on this, I can at least get out a unit that will persist for a little bit. We're going to save that and hope that we get a card. So let's do the Rizofen Hunter. It gets this down even further. Now if he throws out a unit or two, that Sea Giant's coming out soon. Ooh, it's a Raging Worgen. True Silver Champion. Not enough mana. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get this guy out. And he'll be tempted to, to probably Fire Blast that one, but... If he does that, he'll only have two mana for the turn, which means that this unit's going to be... Unless he... Frost bolts this shield bearer, then this this unit's not going to be very effective this turn. He could fire blast it to give it a second attack. Are you going to take out one of my? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Six mana, so we're not going to be able to do that. I'm, I'm going to play my true silver champion to kill his worgen. That's going to be the easiest way to get rid of it, I think. Unfortunately, I'm going to lose the heal, but that's fine. That's better than letting it enrage on my boar or the murloc or something. Sea Giant's still just at 7 mana, so if he plays 2 units, like maybe if he does an ice, a uh, mirror image, that would be good. I could play it next turn. Come on, do a double summon. Put 2 units out there. And don't fire blast this, please. I wonder. No arcane explosions either. Not acceptable. Be a great opportunity to play my Blood Cell Raider. I said don't fire blast that. With me, friend. Hmm. 
All right, we're gonna get this out because I'm gonna use my weapon. Nice. Kill that. I have a lot of units. I'm happy about this deck so far. I really think that we're going to do pretty well. I have lots of units, lots of Blessing of Kings, good card draw. I've got, I think, at least one, I think it was two Cult Masters. Two, at least one, if not two, Gadgets and Auctioneers. All right, well, there goes my Pirate. But at least that drew out a bit of his card removal. There's the Cult Master. I think we're going to play this one, though. The only thing I'm really lacking is I don't have much taunt. What do you suppose his secret is? It's a three mana secret. Could be Counterspell, could be Vaporize. Actually, I think Counterspell might just be two mana. I can't remember. Um, we're gonna do the, uh, this thing. Reporting for duty. And uh, we'll go ahead and hit it with this one first. It's not a Vaporize, okay. I guess we'll play the Cult Master. Oh, no. Mirror Entity, okay. Eh. I want some card draw, plus I want to kill that unit. That actually worked out okay. I'm feeling like we're going to get Arcane Explosion or something. Throw out a little bit of mana plus spell power and then an Arcane Explosion for two or three. If he, if he could get out two spell power, he could wipe the board pretty easy. Or he could just Blizzard. Flame Strike. It's hard to say, you know, with Arena decks, you just never know what to expect in a hand. A unit, that's weird. Would not have expected that at all. Not from a mage. Especially because that's going to be really easy for me to kill. In fact, we'll get the Sea Giant out this turn. Amazingly, with three Blessing of Kings, I haven't seen a single one yet. Which means we're probably going to draw one right now. I wonder. Hey, thanks for the card. Appreciate it. There's the Blessing of Kings. Wonderful news. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to Blessing of Kings this unit. Get the card draw from it. Oh, look at the Divine Shield and everything. We'll go ahead and Divine Shield it. Another card. Get that Questing Adventurer out there. Kill that. You are so toast. You are in a lot of trouble now. This thing can counter almost any big baddie he puts out. This thing is dangerous. It's going to be polymorph bait. If he polymorphs this, then he's going to have no mana to deal with these two units. This unit's going to get scary next turn. Oh man, he's in trouble. That doesn't matter. You're dead. Game over. He actually got to cast that for free, though. It's a nice, le uh, nice epic. You're really thinking hard, aren't you? Are you going to kill this guy because you don't want me to get more cards? Okay. Fair enough. And that makes sense. Okay. Okay with that. I'm pretty happy. Okay, so. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to wait. We're going to play this guy first because we want to do it with all the units on the field. So yeah, we're going to get him out. It makes him stronger. Then we're going to play the Cult Master. So we get some cards. You take care of him. You take care of him. You take care of him. And yeah. Now he's really in trouble. Trouble, trouble. And there's no coming back from this. Hmm. 
You can just GG. It's fine. <laughs> I called that one. Okay. Alright, cool. Well, that is going to be episode one of this second Paladin run. So I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in a little bit. Thanks for watching.